The United States, of course, was the first country to have an atomic bomb and dropped two of them on Japan in 1945. And in 1949, the Russians exploded their bomb, so both sides had some nuclear weaponry. But until Eisenhower took office, the fundamental doctrine of the American military treated nuclear weapons as just another battlefield weapon, kind of like a large explosive shell. And their position was that if you have it, use it. And uh, there was great pressure to use them in Korea, but they didn't because it was a UN mandate. And uh, then increasingly the military talked about, we don't need a large defense budget, we just have the bomb. And the reason that that merger between conventional weaponry and nuclear weaponry uh, existed was because the use of conventional weaponry against Japan had been so horrific that it basically was similar to nuclear weapons. While a bomb was dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, killing about 100,000 people in each place, a little more in Hiroshima, uh, the firebombing of Tokyo killed 70 or 80,000 people with conventional weapons. And Curtis LeMay, the head of the Air Force, routinely ordered firebombing of major Japanese cities, basically burning them to the ground and killing tens and hundreds of thousands of people. So the line between an atomic bomb and a firebombing uh, was not clear uh, in terms of its impact on casualties. But it was Eisenhower, who was commander-in-chief, said that this is not true. There has to be an absolute line between conventional and nuclear weaponry. And we will not use nuclear weaponry again unless we absolutely have to. He said if we do, it will be a massive retaliation against an enemy strike. But otherwise, nuclear weapons were not to be used uh, in, uh, the, in the French Indo-Chinese War, where France wanted our permission to use them, or for us to use them, or in future conflicts. And as a result of Eisenhower's policies, the bomb came to be seen as a completely separate entity. And it was possible to have a situation where you had repeated wars between the East and the West, uh, the communists and the democracies, in which nuclear weapons were not used, Korea, Vietnam, and throughout the Cold War. But that distinction between nuclear and non-nuclear was not automatic. It was only done as a deliberate policy by Eisenhower. Thanks for watching.